Well, we want actually independent seat and hands. Yes. Okay. Um, the independent seat has an educated lower leg, and the the rider is able to sit in the saddle, mold basically into it, and they actually have the movement with the horse, and it's because their lower leg is supporting them. That base of support. Yeah. Now, you have people who have very strong lower legs, but they can't sit. Okay. And a lot of that is they just never were taught to. And I personally blame hunters for that. Oh, I'll get up in this little perchy thing, <laughs> and off they go. No, nobody can sit. Nobody can do a downward transition, because they never learned to sit. I also blame the fact they don't have equitation classes. Yeah. I think equitation on the flat are very important classes, and horse shows do not run them, because they take up too much time. So is that why, I'm sorry, I'm just no, extrapolating no. from that, that having a lesson on the lunge line, as an, even as a, you know, a more advanced rider, can give you freedom with you, so you don't rely on your hands, you mm -hmm. just develop a seat yeah. for it? That's why lunge le lessons are given. That's why lunge lessons are, are given? Are given. Yeah. It's to promote the, and as a result of my experience having a lunge lesson, I've never given one. <laughs> Anyone. <laughs> if you want to have a lunch lesson, go see your disaster. That's always my answer. Do you want to talk maybe about having a lower leg versus a, a gripping leg?